Hey folks, I'm Leo. I come back to the channel. Thank you for watching. In this episode, I'm going to keep working on my new metal shed for my motor banks. So now the ground is done. And the next one to take apart the roof. But before I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna open up the box to see I have everything for it to be able to assemble it. And if they applied all the needed uh, uh, hardware. So let's open it up. I found a few more small pieces so it seems these are the frames and I think this is for the door so it's gonna be a sliding door luckily that's not gonna pick up too much space so these are <coughs> the profiles for the frame itself here are some a lot of small hardware screws a lot uh, these are for the doors I believe and a lot of small small parts so it's gonna be a nice puzzle but there is a really thick instruction book which is more languages luckily and here are some explanations so it seems it's gonna be easy to put together so then uh, i'm gonna start to take apart the roof move out the bikes again to have some place and then um, Let's get to put it together. Well, now the bikes are away from the way. Now I'm gonna take off first the plastic. It's really old, so I'm not gonna keep any attention about it. I'm just gonna break them off and then uh, just slightly take off the entire wood frame. I think I'm gonna try to do it on the quickest way. <laughs> well, it went a little bit faster than I thought, so uh, now I'm gonna move it on the side, first start to assemble the new one and I'm uh, gonna care about it later. So, let's start to assemble. Well, it's a little bit hard start right away. Maybe I should even start to check out the instruction first because it says I have to make a wooden bed, which I have not. So, I think the project stopped right away. And I have to make this frame. I need some places to the end to connect them together and base out a special place, place out a, a pressure, uh, <coughs> a press, uh, to <laughs> to create a, a, a special spaces between to be able them probably for some kind of structure to sit on. I'm gonna have some needs for it, but. Uh, I really don't know because I want to keep it more burning and it says yeah we should cover it with a waterproof marine grade plywood what I'm not gonna do so I'm right away gonna skip the first part and just uh, put it together if I can so I'm gonna see I'm gonna try it first of course if not then I have not too much option just to get the uh, the play would underneath but i guess it could be because of the pace because it's supposed to be on the floor but i have the the, the tires slide down so i maybe not gonna need it hope so hope hoping for it so let's start to put them together this is what i get so far i did check out the play would supposed to be for the bottom if it would be on the on a ground but yeah because i have a <coughs> i have a, a tire made base i don't need that wood luckily but um this seems to be really thin material and I'm not sure these are going to be able to support the weight of the bikes. So maybe here I'm going to need to find some solution. Yeah, I don't know what it's gonna be, but uh, first just uh, try to make the frame further because if I have to apply the panels from the side, I'm gonna have some trouble probably because of the measurements around 
but yeah let's keep going and see how it's gonna be and hopefully later i still can change it or do something with this part for the weight of the bikes let's keep going so this is where i get so far uh, it had to be started with the first two corners and put on a, the front bean kind of and it's gonna have a sliding doors so i hope i'm gonna have room enough on the both side to be open to slide them open so i did a bit uh, moved front of the facility at least one door gonna be for sure being openable hopefully so yeah it's like a puzzle but it has every instruction all the pieces are marked so it's quite simple just have to follow the instruction it looks so far good let's keep going now it's shaking up the did go further with one of the back corner and now i have to make the side which uh, requires some place because actually the panel is gonna come in from the outside so one i can put it on but luckily it's still in a really light position i'll be able to move a little bit on the other side to be able to put on the last panel but uh hopefully the back side gonna be different because on this side i'm gonna have more place to go around it so this side is the next and uh, it's shaking shaping up already so this side is almost complete the top is fixed i just have to fix the middle and the two sides it's uh, shaping up quietly i'm really happy with it it looks really nice and good i like this result so far so uh, i try to finish this side i think i may can pass in and then uh, move to the other side yes that side is complete now really happy with the result it's really good really nice i like it i'm super excited already so now let's move to the other side probably it's just going to be the same to attach the corners first and then the beams and then just put on the sides so let's keep going well this is something already guys the right side is also ready the top frame is complete so now just a few side panels at the back actually and then uh, it seems you have the base clear uh, totally complete already really happy with the results i'm <laughs> super excited to to see when it's complete so let's keep going with the last few back panels yes 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 <laughs> the things are going great look at it it's in a really nice and the main frame is complete actually now i'm just gonna need the doors and the roof which is hopefully gonna go good as well but yeah it's a lot of small things to do so i'm quite exhausted so i'm gonna stop it for now and then uh, just clean up a little bit and uh, try to go further uh, next time when i'm gonna have time for it so that's it for this episode guys thank you for watching if you liked it see you in the next one bye bye